The human body is organized into a hierarchy of different levels. From the simplest to the most complex, they are cell, tissue, organ, organ system, and organism. Thanks to our nervous system, sense organs, and locomotor system, we are able to interact with our environment. Our sense organs are eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. They detect information. The peripheral nervous system is made up of nerves, which carry messages to and from the central nervous system. Our brain sends signals to the muscles of the locomotor system to contract or relax. The locomotor system enables us to move. The nervous system receives the information from the five sense organs, then analyzes and interprets it. This system is made up of two parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of two parts, the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is made up of nerves, which carry messages to and from the central nervous system. The locomotor system is made up of the skeleton, joints, and muscles. Infectious diseases, such as common colds, are caused by harmful organisms called pathogens entering our body. The most common pathogens are bacteria and viruses. Other microorganisms, such as some kinds of fungi and protists, can also cause diseases. Non-infectious diseases, such as diabetes, are not caused by organisms. They are caused by different factors and cannot be spread from person to person. A healthy lifestyle helps prevent diseases. This includes a healthy diet, exercise, regular checkups, and saying no to drugs and alcohol, and an excessive use of video games. One way of developing immunity to some infectious diseases is through vaccination. Doctors and physicians use a variety of diagnostic techniques to identify an illness, such as x-rays, electrocardiographs, blood tests, ultrasound scans, and CT scans. There have been lots of scientific advances in the treatment of illnesses, such as antibiotics, which are used to treat infections caused by bacteria. Since the invention of anesthesia in 1800, there have been lots of advances in surgery and in other medical fields.